Promising vastly improved infrastructure and thousands of new jobs, Governor Andrew Cuomo and Vice President Joe Biden announced an ambitious plan on Monday they say will revitalize New York City's LaGuardia Airport. Since LaGuardia was built in 1939, it has become somewhat legendary for its outdated facilities, delays, and overcrowding. An advisory panel appointed by Cuomo came up with a plan that the governor says doesn't just rehabilitate, it replaces the airport entirely. Welcome to New York's New LaGuardia Airport. This is what New York deserves, and it has deserved, and now we're going to get it. The plan calls for consolidation of terminals, a new hotel, expansion of taxiing space for aircraft, and improved access to public transportation. It will break ground next year, and the first half of the project is expected to be ready to open to passengers in 2019. The project will cost some $4 billion, with half of that coming from the private sector. Vice President Biden, who once compared LaGuardia to being in a third-world country, predicts the new facility will be an economic boon to New York and a model for the rest of the country. This new investment is expected to generate an additional 8,000 direct jobs and 18,000 total jobs in the region. Middle-class jobs, jobs you can raise a family on. Governor Cuomo also announced that he's given the advisory board 12 months to compile recommendations for future developments at JFK International Airport. For New York News Connection, I'm Andrea Sears.